paprika marinated salmon, pan fried, and we're gonna do a kind of summery, fresh, nice, crunchy, light salad of some cucumbers, we've got apples, a little bit of gems lettuce, and some celery. And then and we're gonna blend that all together with a sour cream. So to start off with, we're gonna make a marinade for the salmon. When we used to work in the restaurants in London, a little bit of a cheat is a, a good way to get a different flavor onto a fish or meat or seasoning, is to mix salt with, a, with the spice. So you can use any, just like yeah. we, we've used five spice, Anything. cumin. Because I think if you, if you look at the, this, if you try and sprinkle that on now to get an even coating, it's, it's really um, claggy. Yeah, and it, get, it picks it up the moisture and it gets all, you get loads of lumps of, of um, bits of spice on which you don't want. So go 50-50, even salt, even, even spice. Just mix that in, nice and easy. So we've got a nice fillet of salmon here. So that's portion salmon skin removed for this for this dish right yeah 250 grams you can see this was this is the bloodline of the fish so this is uh the skin side where the skin was um, and what we're going to do is just do you, do you have to remove the skin can you cook it with the skin on for this dish you can if you want but i always find if you add spices and things like that to the skin it tends to burn right really really easily you want to do this about 20 minutes before you need the fish turn it over and then again be quite liberal with it you're seasoning the, you know, this might seem like a little bit, a lot of salt, but you, you have to remember you're also seasoning the inside of the fish when you're doing this. You're just gonna add a little bit of olive oil. So you wanna do this at home. Massage that in, and you can see already that the, the paprika is taking on, is mixing with the oils in the salmon. And I'm gonna leave that to sit for about 20 minutes. Next on the recipe, we're gonna make some sour cream. So what you've got, take the cream out of the out of the packet and lemon, nice and easy. What we're gonna do, we're gonna cut the lemon in half. Actually, use one of Nick's pricks first. Cheeks. Yeah. Citrus cheeks. Yeah. Roll the lemon a little bit. See the oil's coming out of it straight yeah. away. Yeah, and smell, you can smell it as well. Nick likes to do cheeks for some reason, so we'll do some cheeks. Like that. So what we're gonna do, two there. To make sure you don't uh, get any pips inside, just hold your hand above it. We want about half a lemon in there, just uh, gently. And you can see that already. It thickens up naturally. And you can see now, if you look down there, it takes 10 seconds. Nice yeah, and that's thick. as simple as it gets. Yeah. We're going to stick that in the fridge to keep it cool while we make the salad. We've got some nice fresh celery here. Peel it. Okay, there's nothing worse when you're eating a bit of celery with some cheese and you get those stringy bits of, I don't know what you call them, fibers. And we just want to cut them on a nice angle, like this, nice and slowly. All right, so chop all your celery up like that. Quickly do another one. Apple, put these in the bowl. Everything in one bowl. Granny Smith, and we'll get the apple. And you can, it gives you a nice bit of control. Granny Smith, nice and tangy. Okay, so take your time. Again, I'm gonna put that in. Next in the salad, we're gonna put the cucumber in, okay? We're gonna peel this one. You don't have to peel it. Just nip the end off. And then we go around with the peeler. Nice and easy. Straight down the center. And then I'm going to cut the angle on a knife, and we're just going to cut these into strips again. Just watch your knife skills, watch your fingers. See, I've separated them so you can still see. It just gives you a good guide of how much you're putting in there. Put a pinch of salt in there and give it a bit of a mix, and then just a little bit more. While that's starting to almost marinate with the seasoning, we're just going to start picking off our baby gem leaves. Pull them down to the bottom like this and just snap them off. Okay, just work, work your way around, picking the outer leaves off. Fresh dill, pick it, just. So there's about, I'd say there's two, two good stalks of dill in there, and again, stir it through. The dill's gonna wilt down, but that's okay. The gem leaves, just put these on top at the moment. Baby rocket leaves, and put those just on the side there. Salmon's been marinated in around 20 minutes. 
The salad is almost ready to go. We're gonna season that and mix a little bit of vinaigrette. It's gonna go on the plate. Sour cream is ready. This is all important. So when, when you put the salmon in the pan, you know you're almost ready to go. Okay, so we've got the salmon marinating, a little bit of oil on there. I've got a non-stick pan on a medium heat. You don't want this red hot because you've got no skin on it. There's no protection from, from the pan. So it's already co coated in oil. So what I'm gonna do, put a tiny little bit of oil in the pan. You don't want it smoking hot. You just want it nice and hot. And then I'm just gonna very carefully lower the salmon into the pan. Check the edges. You can see that that's moving. Thank you. <laughs> Just lift it up a little bit to make sure that the oil goes underneath. A little trick I learned um, whilst working in London was count to 30, then turn the fish. Count to 30, then turn the fish. Because when, when you've got it in the pan like this, you want a nice, even coating, and you want to cook it evenly all the way around. There's, there's no thick or thin side on the fish here. You want to you make sure it's evenly cooked. So the best way is to count to 30 seconds, and then you want to turn it onto the next side. And again, count to 30 and turn it again. And this will make sure you've got a nice even consistency and an even, call it in the restaurant, a cuisson of how the meat or the fish is cooked in the middle. Just really, really gently. Again, I'm, I'm not playing around with it. I'm not shaking it in the pan. You, no, you don't need to show off. If you feel that the pan's getting a little bit dry, just, just add a touch more oil, but only a little bit. So you can see now turning it and it's still, it's still nice and soft. And we're just gonna just baste it a little bit, and again, that's just gonna help cook both sides. So when you've got this at home and you're doing this at home, I'd say four or five minutes, really nice, gentle. You want to press it; it's going to be firm, a little bit springy, but you can still feel the softness in the, in the center. So this has been in the pan about six minutes now. So I'll turn the heat off the pan. Uh, I'm gonna just lift this out and leave it on the side just to rest for a couple of minutes whilst we make the salad. Pinch of salt onto your mix and then the vinaigrette that we give you, which is five parts uh, oil, one part uh, vinegar. Really good splash of vinaigrette in there. Get that all in there. Quickly mix this through. Rocket, cucumber, apple, celery, all through there. Lift it off and then take some of your sour cream, just drizzle it and then on top like that. And we're just going to finish that with a little bit of paprika, fresh paprika. So there you have it. Smoked paprika marinated salmon, a nice summery, crunchy, fresh salad and some sour cream.